and hopefully I will come out feeling like bliss. Oh, it's far too warm today. <laughs> the morning after the night before. It's a fairly relaxing day. We had the morning off to recover. And then this afternoon, we are being taken to, first off, a tea ceremony. I think it's like an hour long class, so we'll see exactly what that entails. But then afterwards, we are going to the hot springs just to hopefully relax and chill out. It is very much needed after three weeks of looking after very energetic kids and trying to keep up with them. So yeah, hopefully a nice relaxing and calming day to start off this next section of my time here in China. ceremony done and we should all now know how to make the perfect cup of Chinese black tea. Uh, well, should know. Might take a bit more practice to get it as good and uh, flawless as the show that we were given. It is now time though for what I think most people have been most looking forward to today and that is the hot springs. So we are gonna head over and hopefully we should all have a lovely relaxing time and come back feeling wonderful, energetic, and completely refreshed. And that concludes your tour of the hot springs. Uh, if you don't mind, I am going to go put my phone away in the locker so that it doesn't get wet and then finally get into one of these hot springs and spend the afternoon floating away and relaxing and hopefully I will come out feeling like bliss. So the sun has set and everything is now lit up beautifully here at the hot springs. As we finish off here and settle into our zen and calm and relaxation, we are now heading off and gonna go and try and find something to eat. Today's activities are apparently going to be more business related, the modern culture of Xiamen and China I guess. This morning I think we're going to Xujiang community. I'm not completely sure what that entails. Hopefully there'll be interesting enough activities to do. After a brief look around Guilei Hall, which is apparently a private residence of Mr. Tan Kar Ki, who we went to the memorial of two weeks ago now. We are now being taken to a seminar apparently, so we should hopefully learn a bit more about the area that we have been taken to. But first, we had a mass ice cream buying session because the heat is definitely on today uh, and cooling down is definitely a requirement.
business that we had a bit of a talk from is a real estate business. They look after a local area here in between all the schools and universities that are around here as well as the Tankaki memorials and gardens. So this little area in between is currently where the real estate company is hoping to develop things and improve the local area to make it more of a tourist attraction, add in some markets, create some bars and a bit of nightlife. We are now just going on a little walkabout around the region that they talked about in the seminar and yeah we will see what there is around here. We have come full circle and are now back to the lake and gardens. And that ends our time in this little area. We are apparently being taken to a, another project now. We don't know completely exactly what. So yeah, we will hop on the bus and go and find out. So we ended up being taken to this coding company. They are apparently developing something called the VR code, which develops on the QR code. But here they are putting like pictures and color into the actual code. It's uh, interesting, if a bit over my head, not having a business marketing or coding background. We even got to meet the chairman of the company. He gave us a little speech, uh, gave a Q&A session. And in an interesting turn of events, we are now apparently going to dinner with them. I mean, it's nice of them to pay for all our dinners. day of surprises in the end, a bit of history and culture and business. But I think a lot of the trips this week might be business related. So we'll see how things go and exactly what lie in store for us during the rest of this cultural exchange bits of the programme. Another bright and sunny and rather warm day here in Jarmen. We had the morning off, which I decided to use to do some more hand washing of clothes. I had a rather large pile of dirty laundry that needed doing. This afternoon though, we are apparently going to the Jarmen University of Technology, having various talks on things from like 3D printing and scanning, designing bamboo, ceramics, stone materials, uh, now though, I am heading to the local shop in order to try and grab some food for lunch. it done. Uh, we had a look around the 3D printing company, a few of the objects that they'd made. Didn't actually see any 3D printing in action, which was a bit of a shame. We then had a look around to design companies, the products that they made. 
one was like focused on bathroom stuff and toilets and taps and the other company they did a variety of things and soap and cabinets and cups and various bits and bobs can't say it was the most interesting of excursions again not coming from a business finance design background when they said cultural exchange i was hoping for a bit more about traditional chinese culture and learning about stuff like that the place that we were at is just a three minute walk away from a like veggie restaurant been told it's the best veggie restaurant in Shimei, uh, so I have very high expectations so fingers crossed hoping for some amazing food Thanks for watching the latest installment of the vlog. If you enjoyed the video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to know anything about my two months of travelling, then make sure to hit up the comment section below with any questions or queries that you have. And if you want to keep up to date with the rest of my travels and how I end up here in Hong Kong uh, and up on the peak to see the Hong Kong skyline, then make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification as well so you get all the notifications about when the next videos in the vlog are coming. And I will see you then.